Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. To myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be something a little bit different, and that is a back to school morning routine video. Now I know I am not in school right now, but if I was still in college or high school, I would love this morning shower routine. I have so many great coffee scents that I have planned to use today that's really just gonna refresh you and wake you up. And then I'm also gonna share with you guys my everyday makeup routine, it's pretty quick. It's about 10 minutes long that I do every single day to work from home. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to show you guys everything. And of course we have our trusty sidekick Kai with us today. And yeah, let's go ahead and go into the bathroom. Okay, now that we're in the bathroom, of course we're going to brush our teeth. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put in my contacts so I can actually see what I'm doing in the shower. So let me do that and come back. Okay, now that we did all that, I'm gonna put my products that I'm going to use in the shower, in the shower. So first I have the Pixie Glow Tonic Cleansing Gel. This is my morning cleanser. And usually I don't take showers in the morning unless I like go out and walk the dog and it gets really hot outside. So I'm gonna stick this in the shower. And then for shower items, other things I'm gonna use are the OGX Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. This is so yummy. It is just a coconut coffee scent. Mm, it is absolutely amazing. Perfect for this time of year when you still want a little bit of coconut, but we're like transitioning into fall but also just really nice to use in the mornings to have like a nice fresh coffee scent. And then I'm also going to be using the new Tree Hut Velvet Coffee Body Scrub. Really excited to try this out. I just bought this last week, so I'm excited to try it for the first time, but it literally smells like you just ground up coffee beans. It, is sm it smells so good. It is so super strong. I definitely think this would wake you up to go to school. Like this would be so, so good. I wish they had this when I was in school because this would be amazing. So that is also going to be used in the shower. And then out of the shower, like right when I get out, I'm going to put this on like almost moist skin. It's still gonna be like a little bit wet. And that is the Bath & Body Works Vanilla Mocha Cream Body Lotion. This is really good. And I'm gonna show you guys a little secret that I learned. Um, on how to keep your products smelling good all day long. So I'll let you guys know that when we get there out of the shower, but yeah, putting this on for lotion. I like to use a lotion in the morning instead of like a body cream, just cause it sinks in a lot quicker. And then I am gonna use the same, same spray in Vanilla Mocha Cafe. These are just from different years. This is 2020, I believe, and this is 2021. So these are same, same scent, but different packaging. But yeah, gonna use those two together. And for my perfume today, I'm going to use a dossier perfume in musky musk i love this scent it's very nice and like unique to each person who uses it it's just like a very simple elegant clean scent so really like this one i think it goes well with pretty much any scent but really well with like a gourmand fresh scent so all right so with all of that being said let's hop on into the shower and don't judge me because i am gonna put on a shower cap and the shower cap i use has little frenchies on it so don't judge me with my shower cap on but i just did my hair yesterday so I do not want to get it wet. <laughs> skincare real quick um i use the glow recipe watermelon glow toner every single day morning and night i love this stuff i definitely think it shrinks the size of my pores and it just feels really good to put on and while we let that soak in i'm going to go in with the vanilla mocha cream body lotion and then of course we can't forget the arms and like the chest area especially if you're going to be wearing a top that you know shows off your shoulders or whatever if that's allowed at your school. 
I know for high school, it was definitely not allowed. College, they don't care for where I went, which I went to LSU in Louisiana. Okay, so before I finish off my skincare, I'm gonna do the trick that I learned on TikTok, but I'm pretty sure self-care Catherine also does it, and I've seen her do it before, where you apply lotion, and then before it dries, you apply your spray or your perfume or both, which I'm gonna do both right now. Um, and then you also apply a second layer of lotion and then a second layer of sprays. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna start off with my Vanilla Mocha Cafe. And then for the Musky Musk Perfume, I'm just gonna do a few spritz and we'll let that soak in. And then right before I leave for school, leave for school, I'm gonna apply a second coat of all of that. So, and I'm gonna have clothes on, so of course I won't do it like over my entire body like I just did, but you get the point. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my um, Vitamin C Serum. Love this stuff for the mornings. Okay, so I just got dressed and put on a little bit of jewelry. We're gonna finish up the skincare finally with a little bit of CeraVe um, Daily Moisturizer, just like the regular brand. I mean, the regular formula. So this is the top that I went with. It's from PacSun, I think. Just like a regular blue top with a little lock necklace and then some double hoops. I got these off of Amazon, actually. I'll link them in my um, Amazon storefront down below in the comments. Uh, PacSun, and then these are Abercrombie & Fitch jeans. Love, love them. I'll show you like the full fit once we're all done. So let me go grab my makeup. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this kind of quick because I don't want this video to be super long, but we are gonna start with sunscreen. Always remember to wear your sunscreen. It doesn't matter how young you are. If you start wearing it now, it will decrease aging as you grow up. So even if you're in high school right now, you need to be wearing sunscreen. I'm using the Super Goop Mineral Matte Sunscreen, which is a little expensive. So you definitely don't need to buy this one. Next step is e.l.f. Putty Primer. I love this stuff, I use it every single day. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip balm from Laneige. And I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Primer brush and use like the little paddle end to put it on my face. I just put it where I have texture, so like pores around my T-zone, my chin, and like my cheeks a little bit. Next step, I always go in with an under eye corrector. I really don't have that bad of under eye bags, but I like to use this just because it helps with the discoloration and for like a little bit of acne dots, like right here and right here. It helps with redness and this is from Mary Kay, but you can use any under eye corrector. And then I use my Real Techniques sponge to blend it all out. I've tried so many sponges, but honestly the Real Techniques one is the best. You do not need the actual Beauty Blender brand one. That is way too expensive. And if there's one thing that you could actually spend your money on, it would be a good foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty uh, blurring skin tint in number eight. This stuff is so good. I've used it every day since I bought it last month and I used about that much on my hand and I spread it out with my fingers because it is very, very light coverage, but I swear I use this every single day and it's so pretty. It gives you just the best little finish and it's very natural and skin-like and I found the perfect shade for me. So if there's anything that you could splurge on for back to school shopping, um, ask for a new foundation because it's totally worth it when you find one that you love. And then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer just to spot conceal some little blemishes. And honestly, my favorite stuff is all the cream products. So I have the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. I only get the mini because honestly, this lasts years and years. And I'll just go up here and here. And I'm using this little e.l.f. I think this is like a Kabuki brush or something. I don't know what it is, but it's really, really perfect to go in and blend out contour. Like this is the perfect shape. I love it. And then I'm gonna go in with my little mini Rare Beauty blush and Adore. I love this stuff. Um, I've had this for like six months and I still haven't ran out. This was like a birthday. Actually, I've had this for a year then. This was the birthday gift from Sephora last year and my birthday is in August. So yeah, this is a year old, but I'm just gonna go in with that and another e.l.f. brush in the small stipple brush that I use to blend it out. And then final cream product are my Fit Me um, Maybelline concealers. I go in with a lighter one just right here underneath. And then that's number five and then number 10, I go in under the whole under eye, we do a little triangle, and then we do a little up motion. And then while this like sits for a second, I'm gonna prepare my banana powder. I use Dermablend Eliminating Banana Powder. I got this years ago in an Ipsy box or a boxy charm or something, so I've just been using it ever since. 
And then I'm gonna use this little Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Precision Foundation Brush. Oh my gosh. Tap into the powder and apply it underneath my eyes. And then to set the whole face, I use this pretty vulgar mad about it setting powder. Also something I got from a BoxyCharm years ago and I'm still using it. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do my elf brow lift. Ah, okay. I like to do this at the very beginning because it gets a little messy, but I'll just do it now because I forgot. And I do have the brow lift applicator. I think it makes it so much easier to apply. And then final steps, I go in with the Etude House um, eyeliner in brown. Okay, so the trick to my liner is I honestly only go to the center of my eyelid and out. That way it's like super natural and looks really pretty. So totally recommend if you're gonna wear eyeliner for school, do something very simple like that. And then I'm gonna go in with my little mini Rare Beauty mascara. I love this stuff, it's so pretty. And the last step is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Love this stuff, I've been using it for years. And sometimes I'll put on a lip gloss, but honestly I feel like the Laneige lip balm does enough that I don't need it. So we're gonna take the hair down and give it a brush. Even though my hair looks great today, usually when I was in school I never wore my hair down because one, it was very hot in Louisiana <laughs> where I went to college, and two, I hate having my hair like in my face when I'm trying to concentrate on things. So even for work, I put my hair up, like I can't, I can't have it down. So I'm gonna go grab a little clippy and do like a half up look. Okay, while I was out there, I actually decided I wanna do some <laughs> lipstick. I'm just gonna do a Revlon um, Balm in Cherry, or is this in Grape? Very burst little balm stick. And then some lip gloss from Essence. I love this. Essence Shine 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 lip gloss. This is just clear, but all the colors are so pretty. And then I'm gonna use this little clip that I got from Target. Super simple, but really cute. I'm just stick my hair up. Okay, so here's the final fit. So as you can see, there is a little rip in the knee. So if that's not school friendly, don't wear that version. But these are the um, these are the 90 straight ultra high rise jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch. I get mine in a short to wear with tennis shoes, but I get them in a regular if I'm gonna wear them with like a little bit of a heel. So just for reference, I'm 5'4", just so you can kind of tell from that stuff. But yeah, I'm wearing a short right now and I have the little rope in the knee. I think it's super cute. And then the little top, jewelry, accessories, yeah. And I would pair this with my um, white sneakers that I have, but they're downstairs. So not wearing them right now, but that's what I would wear with them. Okay, we are almost ready to go downstairs, pack a lunch and pick up some coffee before we head out the door for school but I have to do the second layer of the perfumes and stuff. So we're gonna go in again with the body lotion, really just on our arms. Another layer of the perfume. So again, I'm just gonna do a few spritzes. And another layer of Vanilla Mocha Cafe. Okay, so that is it for my back to school morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I pretty much showed you my shower slash hygiene routine, my skincare routine, and my makeup routine. So I hope this helps some of you guys get some inspiration for going back to school. And I wish you a great school year this year. If you are going back to school, if you're not, totally, totally get it. I'm here with you, but I do love watching morning routines anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below what are you looking forward to most this school year? Are you a senior? Did you just get into college? Like, let me know down below. I wanna chat with you guys in the comments. So yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.